Today, I'm going to show you how to use behavior space. Let's say you have a model and you want to run it many times to investigate the model's behavior. You may want to modify variables and collect data, and you could run the model manually and record the information by hand, or you could automate the process with behavior space. I'm going to use the model from my last video. I'll put the code in the description. If you don't have it, you want to follow along exactly. Go to the code tab, go to the description in the video, find the code, copy and paste it. We are going to report on the turtle's happiness score. We're going to modify the variables for number of turtles. And then this happy rand score a random number between zero and this value right here, which will be the time that the turtle stays happy after they run into one of their friends. And then this is a constant to ensure that they have at least some time that they're happy after they run into their friends. So how do we modify these three values and record everything so that maybe we can get roughly 25% of all the turtles happy at one time? If we come over to the interface tab, if you just copied this, you're going to need your setup and go. You're also going to need global variables for the number of turtles, happy rand, and happy constant, which I have defined in my sliders. Let's go to tools. Let's go to behavior space. We're going to hit a new experiment. Notice I don't have any experiments. New. And uh, net logo, this is version 6.4, picked up the variables that I can modify. So these are the values that it's set to now in my model. I can add values and I can change the old ones. I think I'll just add a 25 here and then maybe a 50 here for the happy constant. Maybe a happy rand. I do the same, 5, 25, and 50. And then number of turtles, let's get rid of 44. Let's make that 25, 50, and 75. Now we're going to do 27 runs because it's going to run with these variables as a 5, 5, 25. And then the next run will be 25, 5, 25, and then 50, 5, 25. You get the idea, right? So there's 27 of them, 3 times 3 times 3. Now, repetitions, how many times do you want to run the model with each of these values? Since there's some stochasticity in here, like with our happy rand, it might be beneficial to make multiple uh, repetitions of the same numbers. But that's going to make our Excel file too unwieldy for the video. So let's just leave it at one. For our metrics, our reporters, let's do count turtles with open square bracket, happiness greater than zero, right? And then let's go down here, make sure you got your setup. So NetLogo put those in there for me and go. Those are the standard. Let's go to time limit. And if you did the last video, I put a slider for the time limit for the ticks. So you can use that one and keep this as zero. Or if you don't want to use that one, you could put the time limit here and I'll put 200 ticks. Let's hit OK. And now we're going to run our experiment. Run. And it doesn't quite run yet. We still have a few more options. So we have our spreadsheet output. I'm going to leave it at the default. It's going to go to the desktop and you can browse to put it in different places. This is in call. The data is going to be in column format. Table output. The data is going to be in row format. And then you can do your stats and list. I'm not going to do those in this video. I'm going to keep everything else the same. I'm going to hit OK. And there we go. We ran. We're going to get a file right here. We can open that up and take a look. All right. So I double clicked on my file. Yup. Yeah, we can convert the numbers if we want. There we go. And this is what we got. So let's say we want values that's going to produce between 25 and 50 percent of the turtles uh, happy on average during a run of 200. 
let's uh, let's reformat this a little bit. Let's go ahead and right click here in the corner. I'm going to go to Format Cells, Alignment, Wrap Text. There we go. That'll give me more room this way, but I'll be able to read stuff. All right, so we have our run number here. There's two There's two columns for each run number. In 6.3, there's only one, right? But this one has the run number the, and then the values. Down here, we have the reported value, right? The count turtles with happiness greater than zero. Final is four, min is zero, max 10. And this is our mean. So this is what we're interested in. These right here are your ticks, your steps, right? So the final is 200, max is 200. Mean, of course, is 100. Half of, half of what the ticks were going from zero to 200. All right, so that's three happy turtles on average. That's 11, 23. Uh, we got close, but these values aren't good enough for our 25 to 50%. If I come out here, oh, look at that. That's 42. So I know that if I have a happy constant of five, happy ran of 25, and the number of turtles 75, I'm probably going to get where are we at? Ah, uh, here we go. 42 around there, right? We only did one run. We should have done many runs. But that gives you an idea of the numbers you're going to need. We come out here. Ah, 54%. That's a little higher than what we wanted. We can start seeing right now that the number of turtles affect the happiness score uh, pretty significantly, right? And which makes sense because they're happy when they run into each other. Ah, uh, this one's 27, right? So this one's 27. And you get the idea. You can start analyzing your data. If you come down here for each one of these runs, right? So this is run one. Let me click that. This is the happiness score per tick. These are the ticks over here, the steps, right? And then you're going to get it. So you get an X and a Y, an X and a Y. If you do the X on the uh, horizontal Y on the vertical, you make nice little graphs. All right, so that's basically what behavior space is. Uh, I didn't get that deep into it, but now you have enough to get you up and running. So good luck with that. In the next video, we need to start working on our patches.